if there's a, let's say there's a woman out there, women for the women out there that might be thinking about doing this, but they're not they're not sure. Like, what what message would you give them? Julie, did you want to show us the outside? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, um, it's just the Chevy Express cargo van. Again, I'd tell anybody, if you're going to do this, get a high top on it. Don't mess around. Do it right the first time. All right, that'd be my only advice on that. And then over here, I've got a, I've got a water. I had this added to it. This is where I can unscrew this, shove in water and fill big water tanks inside so that I don't have to lug water in and out. Okay. And uh, eventually I'll have vents on here and the whole thing. It will be an RV when I'm finished. So this is still a work in progress, basically. It still is, yeah. How um, many gallons of water can you carry on, on your van, in your van? I can carry, well, let me have to do the math on it. Let's see. Just generally speaking, you don't have, it doesn't have to be precise. About 24 gallons. 24 gallons. Yeah, and more if possible. Okay. Uh, and I can always put water in the back on my uh, rack. Uh, it's a flimsy little rack. Another thing that's real important when you ever you women out there have to get up uh, my van didn't come with a trailer uh, a tow hitch mm -hmm. uh, also get the tow package when you get the van that's real important too uh, go to uh, an auto place to find out what would be the best uh, tow hitch to buy the one that i bought i'm going to end up gifting it to somebody okay because it does it isn't going to work for my van i've got to get a better better uh, tow hitch than that that's why this is drooping down. It's going to take another tow hitch to make that right. So I'll just give anyone a lot down the road. When I can replace to upgrade my vehicle to what I need to, I'll just give away whatever I can't use. Because what good is it to you anyway? What? Right. Just sit on it till you can sell it? No, I don't think that's right. If somebody else needs to give it to them, right? Right. Especially right. if you're not using it anymore. But yeah, I mean, in here is my generator. Okay, so right here is my uh, uh, 2000 uh, watt Predator generator. Oh, okay. It is very woman friendly. Uh, it is heavy, however, it is heavy. It does weigh about 50 pounds. And then you got gas in there, a gallon of gas. Yeah, it can weigh, it can weigh. So I just leave it, I leave it right here. I don't move it around. And if I have to use it, I just uncover the plastic and uh, plug it in couple of cranks boom it fires right up and I can run a 6,000 BTU air conditioner off of this 2,000 watt generator and uh, wow that's nice you know if you ever need it if you ever need it you got it so uh, it's always good to have one of these if I, well, I, like know. I said my life is off-grid home right. base out here on the road everywhere everything I do has got to be off-grid right it has to be so this generator is part of my survival uh, my life so when I need it I got it when the solar when the Sun don't shine I can crank that up and I can live comfortably and your your solar's on the top you got yeah, some solar, my solar on top. I've got 200 watts mounted on the top and I'm hoping to get my third panel uh, I have actually two more panels to put up there okay. uh, and, and, and when the time comes I can get the right kind of help I need to get those other two panels mounted to the roof that'll give me 400 watts of panels or of solar on the roof and uh, will but I don't really need that much power right now so what I want to do is just only do one more panel on the roof that'll give me 300 and buy uh, the batteries the three uh, golf cart batteries that I need to power so that I can go I can go a week without uh, having the Sun if I have to um, because everywhere I'm at this is this is how I'll get by this is how I'll, me and Max will live mm -hmm. and be comfortable now you, I think I heard you say that you do have a home base also. I right? have a home base, but at this point in time, the roof leaks like a like Niagara Falls, and the house won't stand very long. Let me ask you this: You have a house, you've lived in a house, and now you live in this van. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? The van. This is a lot easier. It's easier. Uh, to, it's more affordable. More affordable. The house was just too costly. I, I had to walk away and not worry about it falling to the ground. Uh, this was cheaper for me uh -huh. because I bought it new. Uh -huh. It gives me about a five-year period to try to save the money in a kitty 
for my new tires, for, you know, things. Just have a little emergency fund shoved away just for your vehicle. Just for your vehicle. Right. Because you're going to need it. It's going to come. But for five years, because it's under warranty, I shouldn't even have to think about it. But I do because I know, you know, I've already been almost three years into this vehicle. So I need to start working on my kitty quickly. I've started making jewelry. Okay. Uh, these little uh, pendant deal. I'm wearing one right now. It's one of these little things here. Okay. I go out and I find these rocks. They're fire agate. They look like this when you find them on the ground. They just look this way and that. And then I clean them up. I clean them up and I put them into jewelry right here. If you can see that. I uh, This is some more uh, copper, Chris Cola. Uh, malachite and these I cut polish and put those in jewelry as well wire them up just like this but I use silver because it looks better on the blue uh, but these are fire agate okay. and I make and sell these to anybody who wants one so generally you sell these you, this, I do. this this helps support you on the road uh, this helps pay for uh, veterinarian costs for max uh, it helps me to put tires on my vehicle all of this is extra money for me, uh, possibly grocery money. Just just things that uh, you run out of during the month that you just seem to never have enough money for. So, Vets, tires. <laughs> so generally speaking, how do you how do you how do you support yourself on the road? I am on Social Security um, retirement, and uh, I don't get a penny more. That's it. Okay, and you yeah. and your art also helps support you. My art, I sell my art. I sell prints and I sell originals. I have art in a gallery. I have art all over the world. My art is collectible to anybody that doesn't know that. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, uh, this is what I do. This is how, all my pastime, this is what I do when, I never get bored. I never get bored. Bored doesn't live in me. Uh, <laughs> with my art and with my uh, rocks, I never have a moment of boredom. So it just gives me great pleasure and joy to do it. Okay. I wish I could give everything away that I do. I wished I could. And ultimately, I, I hope to be able to do that. Just gift everything, oh. everything. Oh, well, that's nice. Because it is better to give it, you know. I believe right. it is. It makes me feel better. Right. And I, my goal is to get me a little, a small lapidary station, very small one, so that I can bring it with me wherever I go, so I can take my rocks that I have and collected, so that I can cut them, and I can polish them and put them into the jewelry. Mm -hmm. And because uh, these pieces are big and hard and, and I have some small pieces that I will be putting into jewelry too. And uh, But that's my ultimate goal is to be able to afford a small lapidary setup for cutting, polishing, um, and grinding rocks. Uh, okay. Just some of this art that you have yeah. in here, this design. You painted all this yourself. Oh yeah, this all comes out of me. Uh, wow. I just what I do when I paint, when I do abstract, I just go at it. I don't plan. I just jump into it and uh -huh. don't look back. I just start swinging the brush, and these are this is what happens when I swing the brush around. Things just come out. Right. Uh, I, I never know what I'm going to do. Really, I, I just never know till it's finished and. Uh, and, and how, here it is. How long have you been doing that? How I've long have you been an artist? All my life. Uh, oh, okay. I, I've been selling my art for, for forty years, uh, forty-five years, honestly. Um, I've got art all over the world. Okay. Um, and uh, I do have it in a gallery. So it's just you know it's a lot of fun. I'll be that one artist that whacked their ear off in the corner. You know that finally got rich <laughs> when they died. When they died. Yeah. 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 I will one day, and I know it because I'm so eccentric. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, TBI brain trauma is is why I know that mm. I can paint mm -hmm. because I never did get an education in school. Mm -hmm. uh, not like most people. So. Um, the art comes natural it's like breathing for me it's okay. like swimming you know it just comes natural and uh, so uh, yeah I've sold many 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 countless pieces over my life if there's a, let's say there's a woman out there women for the women out there that might be thinking about doing this but they're not they're not sure let's say you have retired women out there who are watching this what what message would you give them they, they want to do it. Let's say they're thinking about it, but they're on the fence or they're not sure. What, what kind of uh, well, advice first, would you the, give them? The very first thing you have to do, the first thing, is get the best, reliable, dependable vehicle that you can find. 
Make sure it has a high top because God knows you're going to wish you did. Mm -hmm. um, have have yourself a kitty uh, money in the bank for unforeseen. Uh, be ready for that. Okay. Um, definitely get connected to the caravans, Bob Wells caravans. Um, get connected to people on YouTube that live this life. Make friends ahead of time before you venture out. So when you do, you'll have a destination and friends when you get there. So if you do get in trouble, there'll be someone there to help you out. Great advice. Great advice. Now, you have a, a YouTube channel. I certainly do. You want to you wanna tell us about that? Yeah, I started this channel a while back, a few years ago. Julie, thank you so much for showing us your rig today. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Look at these two little love birds. And it's warm too. Although they were fighting earlier, but they've been laying together a couple of times lately. Seems like they go through spells. Sometimes they'll lay together a lot and then sometimes maybe not for a while. Right boys? <laughs> But you know what I say, you two really love each other, don't you? Okay, enjoy each other's company. And let's check out Henry. There's Henry on the egg box. Oh, Henry says, oh, don't bother me. I'm just sleeping over here. Henry! <laughs> Is he sleeping? Hmm? All right, have a nice little rest there, Henry. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.